Hi everybody, it's Sharon aka Wabaraka and I am back on Real Talks. Oh my goodness, it's been such a long time that I haven't done the Real Talks. I had taken a bit of a break but I am back and I am back on full swing. Before I get into my topic, I'd just like to remind you people to um, log in into my official YouTube channel. I do have some music. You can listen to the music, subscribe, share, and like, and you will be blessed. But today I am on Real Talks. I am a woman of many hats, and today is all about Real Talks. And today's topic, I want to talk about mental health among our children, among our youth. And we pause there and ask ourselves, why is there so much mental health issues among our children? Surprisingly, it is coming at a time when there is so much awareness, so much support around mental health issues. But the statistics are shocking. The number of children that are being diagnosed with mental health issues is just unbelievable. And maybe what we need to ask ourselves at that point is, where have we gone wrong? What is it we're doing that is not right? And maybe the answer to that question is, we have failed. We as parents have failed. And I may sound harsh when I say this, but this is the reality. Let's bring it on, people. I mean, let me bring you this scenario. We're raising our children in toxic environments where they hear or they see mommy and dad fight all the time and we expect our children to be normal. We're raising our children where we are not even supporting them because you're so afraid of them and we expect them to be okay, we expect them to be normal. It can be. We need to come to a position where we find a thin line we need, we need to be parents and children need to be children. When children see parents, mommy and daddy, fight or argue all the time, that has an emotional impact. I mean, put yourself in this scenario. When you fight your spouse or your partner, how does it make you feel, you as an adult? It wrecks your heart on it. Can you then imagine what goes through your child's mind when they hear their parents fight or argue it tears them apart it confuses them it makes them sad and they don't know what to do they cry they hide themselves they feel like they're in a pit and we don't understand that and when they try to come out for a hug we push them away we don't even know how to respond to them anymore because you find them as a nuisance but they're worried for you and what happens is that these children go to school and they are learning. They, they, are, they are given a lot of information in school. But when they come home, hoping and thinking that they're going to get the support from their parents, their loving parents, they don't get it. But what they find is a barrier. Because you don't know how to respond to their own issues parents we need to arise i mean i do understand we were raised up especially those who have been raised up in africa we were raised up being beaten as a form of punishment and that was the normal way then we have come to the west where it is not acceptable i don't even believe it is acceptable in africa anymore anyway because research has found that it doesn't do any good to hit or or beat a child it is damaging in itself and a lot of the parents that I deal with are stuck in the old way of punishing, the old way of corporal punishment. It doesn't work and it will never work. We need to find alternatives. There are better solutions. But you know what? The sad reality of what is happening is that that, that lack of support, that lack of understanding of our own children is having emotional impact and then these children are sinking into depression and the next thing is they start having suicidal thoughts i would like us to continue on this topic because i believe there is some solution that we can find to this issue 
If the statistics are showing that the number of children being currently diagnosed is that high, then there is something that we are doing that is not right and we need to find a solution. We can only find a solution by bringing it live and bringing it real. I love you all. Baraka.